Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to review an exam in Pearson and select the top 10 questions missed by students. We'll go ahead and navigate from Blackboard to the Pearson course and from here we're going to log into the instructor gradebook. In the gradebook there's a section for reports and managing groups so we'll go to the report section this pops up in your window, so you may have to allow the pop-up. Then we'll go to Frequency Analysis Report, and then Exam Frequency Analysis. From here, we need to uh, select exam that we're going to work with. In this instance, we'll work with the midterm exam. And we're going to select All Attempts, and then Show All Results. We'll go ahead and run this report. So this report is going to show us uh, all the questions um, through the exam. Now by clicking on the headers we can sort and there are two basic ways to so to see which questions were missed. First you can sort by the incorrect answers. Now because this exam is randomized it means that not all students see the same question so uh, seeing how many incorrect answers uh, were made is helpful in identifying which question perhaps is missed more often. Then sorting by the correct percentage is going to give us another view uh, on uh, how many questions were uh, answered correctly most often and then incorrectly. Now in this instance though we have to uh, scroll past uh, the 100% uh, to uh, questions that were uh, answered uh, less often. Uh, after you sort by the correct percentage, uh, make sure not to miss the fact that this sorting is not numerical, it's uh, by characters. So the 100% will be at the top, and then you, as you scroll down, you'll notice the break uh, to 20% first, and then 90% will be at the bottom. So it's uh, sorting not numerically by, but by characters. Uh, however, as you can see, uh, sometimes uh, uh, the percentage uh, of uh, correct answers, uh, of course, is skewed by the number of presented questions, which is why, again, the incorrect column uh, gives us a little bit of balance. And so the top 10 questions really should be selected from a combination of both the correct percentage and the incorrect uh, amount. Thank you.